Hey folks, welcome to DC Outdoors. This week we're doing something a little bit different. We are working on the RV, getting ready for summer camping, and we're working on the fresh water system. So I picked up some of this Camco Spring Fresh RV and Marine uh, fresh water tank cleaner uh, from Canadian Tire. Uh, I'm gonna run it to the tanks. This year we're doing a little bit of extended camping in a seasonal campground. So we will be having the luxury of being hooked up to full water, sewer, and power hookups. Uh, what that means for me is in the past when we would go out for little weekend trips or even week-long trips We didn't really rely on the water too much in the trailer because we always brought along some of those um, You know little blue uh, water jugs for drinking and we might use the trailer water for washing and so forth But this year uh, I really anticipate that we'll be using the fresh water tank a lot more the city water hookout So I really want to flush the water lines make sure that this water tastes great uh, for drinking uh, during our camping season All right, so here's the steps. I've already drained all of the old antifreeze from the system and I flushed some water through it last weekend. So step two, adding two thirds of the tank full, which I've done, and then I will add the spring fresh to the water tank. It says to add uh, 0.94 liters for each 94 liter uh, of tank capacity. So looking at my trailer here, it says that the water tank is a 42 gallon capacity so 42 gallon capacity so i guess i need just a little less than two liters of this spring fresh so we're, we will uh, put that in the tank next i'm not going to be driving this unit it's a pain in the butt to get my trailer parked but i will rock it back and forth as it indicates then flush and uh, rinse and then put some more in it and do it again so we'll give this a try and then i will try the water and uh, see what it comes out like All right, according to the instructions, after we've put the spring fresh into the water tank, we um, rock the trailer here for a few times, and then it says to turn the pump on, and then open each faucet one at a time until water flows continuously for two minutes. Hot water faucets take a bit longer due to refilling water heater drain in step one. So let's give that a go next. Alright, that one's been running for about two minutes. Now let's turn on this guy. Now I seriously doubt that anybody's going to be drinking out of the water here in the bathtub in the shower, but nonetheless, I will also drain this one. Probably not for two minutes, but maybe for a minute or so. Alright, so we waited 10 minutes. We're draining the freshwater tank underneath. It also says to let these taps run, but I don't want to fill up my gray tank completely, but I will let it run for another couple minutes here in the trailer. She looks to be starting to slow down here. So again, we're just doing the first dump once we put in this cleaner and then the uh, instructions say to do another fill, another dump, another fill, another dump. We are filling the tank after running the chemical treater through. All right, the third tank looks full. Okay, we are working on the third and final drain of the tank. All right, time for the taste test. Smells good. Tastes good. Might have a little bit of a chemical taste to it. Um, but not too bad considering. So maybe I think just one more flush when we are set up at the campsite, but 
other than that, no, I think that that works. So I'll let you know through the summer if this was worth it, but so far, definitely much better than the uh, years past. Uh, thanks so much again for watching. Again, this is a bit different of a video here for DC Outdoors. Um, but again, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe. And again, we'll see you soon. Cheers.